Hey everyone, welcome to today's episode of Neat Junk Thrift Show and Tell. Today we're going to be taking a look at one of my favorite artists and a person who I've been lucky enough to collect quite a few things from from different thrift stores, the artist Laurel Birch. Now Laurel Birch's story is actually a really cool story. When she was 19 living in San Francisco, she had two kids and was a single mother who decided to start making jewelry out of basically junk pieces of tin and stuff like that, hammering them out on a cast iron skillet on her kitchen table in order to go out and sell it and try to make money that way. That's how she got going. Her jewelry ended up catching on, became very high couture, shown on, in Vogue and a lot of other just high-end fashion design magazines. After she began making jewelry, Laurel was actually the first person, first businesswoman, to be invited to China to do business with Chinese manufacturers. Some of her early productions of things were her early earrings and things of that sort, which still sell online for uh, hundreds of dollars for the collectible vintage stuff. After that, uh, she began going into painting. The painting was something she is probably most known for because she was very well known for painting cats. Laurel's cats are probably the most iconic painted cats that I can think of. And was actually one of the first things that caught my eye with her artwork. She also painted a lot of horses, a lot of uh, uh, different types of animals altogether. Laurel had a very short-lived life. Unfortunately, passed away at the age of 61 due to complications from a lifelong battle with osteoporosis. During her lifetime, she broke hundreds of bones and at times was known to paint with casts on, uh, completely like unable to even chew food. If by the end of her life, she broke her jaw in two places just eating her dinner one night. Laurel had passed away in September of 2007 as a result of those complications from osteoporosis. Well, let's take a look at some of the things that I've been lucky to pick up over the years of Laurel Birch's work. First off, the shirt that I'm wearing, the Woman's Spirit by Laurel Birch over here. This is an old shirt. Uh, it has the studio tag inside the collar. I have the Rainbow Cat Cousins tote printed on canvas. Got this pretty canvas tote that has some hand-painted little piece of wood on it here. It has some great little cats on it. One of my favorite features of it. The Laurel Birch Studio Tag. From on the shelf in the background here, I have this kitty, this mug, which I don't really use too often because I don't want to wreck it. I had another one that I dropped one time, so that was a bummer this butterfly mug. And we've got this pretty framed glitter piece hanging on the wall. This amazing picture frame which has these etched women on them with the bird. If you can see on there it's kind of etched into the surface or else it's an applique of some sort. And it says, gather wild flowers, drink moonlight, thank the stars, remember to dream, to laugh, to sing, and most of all, pretend you have wings and use them. Laurel Birch, that's just a great one. Thanks for watching this episode of Neat Junk Thrift Show and Tell uh, about Laurel Birch. I hope you enjoyed the show. I hope you enjoyed being able to check out some of the little items I have in my collection. Look forward to trying to put on another show sometime soon. Thanks for watching.